Hello, and thank you for choosing Komatsu products. The purpose of this video is to illustrate the location of the operator controls and explain their purpose. Let's get started. Always perform a walk-around inspection before mounting any piece of machinery. The ladder can be raised and locked into position by using the switches at the top of the ladder. We are now ready to get into the cab. Always use three points of contact when mounting the machine. Now that we are in the cab, the first thing we want to do is fasten the seat belt. Once the seat belt is fastened, we can become familiar with the operator controls. To the right of the touch panel is the machine key. The machine key can be turned to multiple positions. Turning the key to the on position allows the operator to confirm functionality of several important controls. The emergency stop switch is located to the rear of the left armrest. With the key in the on position, the monitor will indicate the status of this switch. The engine shutdown secondary switch is located to the right side of the machine monitor. With the key in the on position, the monitor will indicate the status of this switch. This machine uses two lock levers that control machine operation. On the right side is the work equipment lock lever. On the left side is the travel lock lever. These levers can be operated independently of each other. With these lock levers are in the up position. The machine can travel and the work equipment can move. When these lock levers are in the down position, the machine cannot travel and the work equipment cannot move. There are multiple switches located to the left and right of the machine monitor. Here we can see the headlamp switch, the rear lamp switch, engine room light switch if equipped, additional working lamp switch if equipped, and the access light switch if equipped. On the left side of the operator's console, there are several controls. The cigarette lighter, the console lifter switch. This switch will raise and lower the height of the console for operator comfort. And the fuel control dial. This will increase or decrease engine speed. To the right of the operator's seat is the blade control lever. The operator can use this lever to engage blade float by holding the blade float switch and moving the lever to the lower stroke end. The operator can also pitch the blade by using the pitch switch. To the rear of the blade control lever is the ripper control lever. This lever allows the ripper to be raised, lowered, or held in position. The ripper control lever also has a toggle switch that allows the ripper cutting angle to be increased or decreased. The ripper auto return function can be used for storing the ripper automatically when the machine travels in reverse. The brake pedal and decelerator pedal design allow for easy cab floor cleaning. When the brake pedal is depressed, the right hand and left hand brakes are applied simultaneously. The decelerator pedal is used to reduce the engine speed and the travel speed of the machine. To the left of the operator's seat is the Palm Command Control System, or PCCS. This joystick allows the operator to select forward or reverse travel while also controlling the machine steering. Gear shift operation can also be controlled by using the up switch or down switch. The monitor will display changes in gear speed. This concludes the operator controls video for the Komatsu D375A-8. If you would like more information regarding this product, please contact your local sales representative or visit KomatsuAmerica.com. Thank you for choosing Komatsu products.